What's up YouTube? Hope everyone's having a blessed day today. So my son and I decided to come out today and do a little ride and uh, so we rode down here to Live Oak, Florida to the, the painted bridge on the Swanee. So um, we're going to uh, do a quick walk around on the, the bridge and kind of show y'all what it looks like. But um, then we want to do a, uh, a quick little review um, on my son's new motorcycle. So so he ended up um we got back from sturgis last year he ended up getting rid of his dyna um he had a 2011 dyna super glide custom uh, wonderful bike uh he really liked that bike um the one thing with that bike though it did uh nickel and dime you to death so to speak you know um the bike didn't have a whole lot of miles on it when he got the bike but anyway it was uh you know when when things sit for a long time and it's just one thing after the other spent a little bunch of money in it and uh just didn't uh it was it was reliable for an around town bike and stuff but we want to do longer trips and also he ended up getting rid of that bike and getting him a a new um 2023 soft tail standard so Anyway, we'll do a, he's got a couple thousand miles on it, uh, a little over 2,100 miles on it um, right now, but we'll we'll look the bike over, show you what he's done to it, and then uh, tell you the reason why he went with that bike. But right now, we're gonna kind of show you the bridge and what it looks like. So, here's the bridge. We're actually out on the bridge right now. Um, lots of decorative painting and stuff on it but this is what it looks like um, over here on top of the bridge and if you look around that's the new bridge over there if y'all can see it um, but this is on the Swanee River uh, located here in Florida so really nice it's a really dark um, dark river uh, as you can tell um, but this is a pretty little uh, site uh, bridge, you know, just to come and, and look at. And it's got a, you can keep walking back that way quite a ways. There's uh, some trails, people walk a lot and all. But, but right now, um, there's the Love Locks. Uh, but anyway, we're going to walk back over here. And we will uh, do a walk around to his bike, show you what he's already done to the bike. And... Um, let him tell you a little bit about it what he thinks about it and also uh we'll go from there all right so here's his 2023 soft tail standard so this has the 107 engine in it um this is a, a peppy little bike yes i say little bike it's not a little bike but uh compared to the road glide it's, it's a smaller bike um but so far we've changed out and it's got all leds um, custom dynamics front and rear um, it still has the, the harley led bulb in the front um, memphis shades uh front fairing uh, with 11 inch uh, windshield um, he did pull off the the reflectors right there and he ended up getting some of the uh the clear reflectors and put on there that looks really good um it's got is it the fab 28 yeah uh two into one exhaust um still got the factory air cleaner which i actually like this air cleaner on the bike better than i like some of the aftermarket ones but um it'll be his decision what he does with it at some point uh he has put the saddleman uh step up on here um and we did adjust the bars to to fit him but uh so far i believe that is all the modifications that he's done to the bike um but i'll tell you the bike rides really well it's uh it's got a really good sounding exhaust in it this this exhaust is not as quite is not quite as loud as his uh vance and hines was on his dyna but I think it, it still sounds really good. Um, one 
negative on my part for the bike that that it doesn't bother him is it's got a little bitty three and a half gallon gas tank and and uh you know of course over here on the road glide you got a six gallon gas tank but um it doesn't bother him it, it does really well uh he gets pretty decent fuel mileage with it but um he will have to stop a lot more often to get fuel um than i have to when we ride together but i don't mind me and him getting to ride together so but that's a quick walk around of the bike um so i'll uh turn the camera around and we'll get it set up on the tripod and we'll uh just talk a little bit and and answer a few questions all right so i'll ask dalton a few questions and let him kind of tell you so why did you go with this particular model over the others in the harley salt tail lineup okay well there was a few models that i considered i really liked this one the street bob the and the lowrider st now the lowrider st would have been like the dream bike for me um but i kind of just feel like it was more money than i wanted to spend on a bike at the moment so and then it was kind of just down to that and the street bob and this versus the street bob it was mostly just aesthetic reasons why i went with this um the street bob has like a lot of blacked out stuff whereas i really like the chrome so i, I like that this has some chrome on it um and then also it, it comes with a 107 instead of the 114 like in the street bob uh, but I rode both bikes and I didn't think that the 114 was worth it for the upgrade for the amount of money that it was. It was not a very noticeable difference in power to me. Um, and then the other thing was the, the gas tanks. So this gas tank has a red lettering on the side, Harley Davidson, very simple. Whereas the Street Bob gas tank has a big number one and it's super flashy looking and it just wasn't my style. I, I didn't really like it. So that's kind of the reason I picked this bike. All right. So why this bike over some of the other manufacturers out there in the, the Japanese type market or Indian? Okay, so um, the Japanese market bikes as I, I believe they are very well made, but I feel like they don't really have a strong competitor for this kind of bike. Um, there are a couple of models out there that are very good and very impressive, but not really the size that I want and the comfort that I want to be able to do my long trips on, not really making the same amount of power. Um, so I wasn't really interested in those as much. And then as far as the Indian goes, I really was considering the Indian Scout or the Indian Chief. Um, I think they have very strong competitors against Harley. And the only di reason why I didn't try one of those bikes out is because we just don't have an Indian dealership anywhere near us. Um, it's two and a half hours to the nearest uh, Indian dealership where we're at. And in case I had to have any service work done, or any kind of repairs that needed to be done to the bike, I didn't want to have to take it two and a half hours away to get work done. So, whereas the Harley dealership is five minutes away from my house. Mm -hmm. All right. So, what do you like about this bike compared to your Dyna? So, there's a lot of things that I like about it um, compared to the Dyna. Um, I still think that the Dyna is a, is a cooler looking bike, uh, but I still really like this one as well. Um, main thing I would say I like about this bike is just reliability. The thing is with the Dynas, with them being phased out now for what, six years or so, they're, they're, even if I was to get a, the newest Dyna, if I was to get a 2017 model Dyna, it's still gonna be several years old it's still gonna end up probably giving me some problems down the road. Uh, the particular bike that I had before, even though I really liked it a lot, I was constantly having to do stuff to it. I was replacing parts here and there and all kinds of other things that I had to do to it. Whereas 
on this. I don't have to do anything to it. I just ride it and make the payments and the money actually works out a little bit better than the repairs does. The, the payments are less than the repairs were costing me, so yeah. What do you, what is a, a, a couple of pros about this bike and then what are some cons that you may have with it? Mm, I would say that the pros of this bike are the power. Um, I would say the comfort. Now from the factory, they're not as comfortable, I don't believe, but with the saddleman seat and the fairing, I think it's a lot more comfortable. Um, and then the way it handles, it honestly handles really, really well. Mm -hmm. Um, it's very nimble. The weight in the bike is really down low. So even though it's kind of a heavy bike, when you come to a stop, you don't really feel like you're holding it up. You're kind of yeah. just sitting there on it. It's just there. And when you take off, then you don't feel it at all anymore. So I'd say those are some pros. What are some cons? Some cons are, I don't think it sounds as good with the Milwaukee 8 as the twin cam sounds. I think the twin cam, the twin cam motor is a better sounding motor than the Milwaukee 8. Um, but that does come at the cost of power because the Milwaukee 8 is making more power than any twin cam ever made. Uh, what about, um, from the factory? At least. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what about the, the height of the bike? I know that was one of the cons that you had. Oh yeah. The, uh, the bike sits quite a bit lower than a factory dyno. Um, I was looking it up and it, it definitely felt lower whenever I was sitting on the bike than when I was on my dyna. Um, but I thought that might've had something to do with the seat. Now, after I replaced the seat, I realized it still sits lower. So I looked it up and found out that these fork tubes on the front suspension are actually two inches shorter than the factory ones for the dyna. So, and then if you have a wide glide, then four inches shorter. So there's some good things to that and some bad things with the front end being lower than the back. It means that your bike's gonna feel more nimble, but it also means that you're gonna scrape pegs really, really easily. It's not hard to scrape pegs on this bike at all. Yeah. Um, but the 13 inch shock in the rear does help. It's, it's very nice having the tall rear end. But eventually down the road, I do see myself lifting the front up some more putting some longer tubes in there or whatever else I have to do to uh, to make me make myself have a little bit more ground clearance. All right. Anything else you want to share about the bike right now? Um, um, nothing comes to mind. It's a great bike. Um, if you are considering getting a soft tail standard, go test ride one and see what you think. But I honestly think you'll be impressed with it. All right. Well, hey everyone, we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut this video here. Um, I hope this helped answer some questions and I hope everyone has an absolutely blessed day. Thanks.